so i think that's a good start so um, maybe why don't we try okay let's there is another problem which is very similar to our uh, you know the mixer problem that we had okay, okay? so we have um, a minus 80 volt is exactly the analog mixer oh, okay. circuit now okay but with three sources oh. three voltage sources. so you have minus 80 volts yeah yeah so the you can reverse the terminals okay. and make so it I yeah reverse this terminal and make it 80, 80 volt. volts yeah and the resistor is 2 ohms 2 ohms the uh, second arm uh -huh. is 3 ohms with plus 40 volt something like this exactly okay okay the third arm yes. is 100 volts okay with 4 ohms oh okay 100 volts with 4 ohms okay. yeah okay 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 i mean the the, the circuit here has exchanged the 100 volt and 4 ohm the 100 volt is actually ah, about, okay okay know, okay just let student get students get used to Correct. different kinds of drawings ways of drawing the circuit yeah, as well okay. perfect so the 100 volt is on top the 4 ohm is oh there. okay so uh, 100 volts 4 ohms 4 ohms okay perfect so the question that is being asked here is find the power delivered to the 4 ohm resistor ah okay so they want p uh, 4 ohm 4 ohm exactly okay excellent so we need to find the current flowing through it and the yeah. or the voltage or the uh, voltage. voltage so if you have the find the current then it's just i squared r i squared that r. is the power right okay okay so uh, now we have uh, three voltage sources yeah. well we can go ahead and set up the equations in yes. the loop yes uh, so you could do one single so set of equations yes by applying uh, let us say kvl around these two correct uh, loops or we could actually use superposition exactly right? this is a we have problem that is tailor made for tailor made for superposition, superposition actually right. right so let us use superposition yeah sure right? so instead of doing this so we will not go through that path so we will apply these uh, uh, voltages one by one yeah and find out the current correct so i am going to first of all start off uh, taking my reference direction yeah as let us say like this okay okay mm. so i am going to call this uh, this is the only current i am interested in so i'll just call this a i not i not yes i am interested in this current yeah right so in this direction yeah okay so what i'm going to do is uh, apply the voltage sources one by one okay. so first let me apply the 80 volt source so just sorry to interrupt here so is there any rational why you chose that direction straight away ah. or so my gut feeling okay is that the largest voltage source yeah. is most likely going to be delivering power oh, okay okay so my gut feeling always is to assume that the current is going to be flowing out of out the of that largest voltage source right this is just a gut feeling yeah okay okay uh, but it need not always be so yeah because you can have smaller voltages adding up around the hundred you know correct, hundred correct, volt correct, source correct. this is just a gut feeling yeah and that's what we saw in the last problem we what saw in the last part was actually delivering was actually absorbing absorbing power, power. correct right okay okay great so the same current i not yeah. is flowing out okay yes. so i am going to apply these voltage sources one by one yeah. any particular preference about which one to choose first uh, uh let's see well i mean there are three equivalent things equivalent so i can't things. Yeah. so let me start with the largest one yeah i'll start with the 100 volts yes right yes. so so only the 100 volts yeah okay so the when you apply superposition if you have voltage sources which need to be de-energized they have to be short circuited, short -circuited. yes right so i will basically 80 volt sources short circuited yes the 40 volt short is uh, source is also short circuited and i now have 100 volts yeah and i have 4 ohms yes so this is 2 ohms 3 ohms 4 ohms and 100 volts okay so i am going to call this io1 yeah okay this current yes so 2 ohms in parallel with 3 ohms yeah so this is something we did last time yes so, we so know how 6 to solve this. Uh, by 5 6 by 5 1.2 1.2 1. ohms yeah and i basically have 100 volts and 4 ohms 4 ohms and yeah. now this 
current is what we are interested in. Yeah, yes. So it is clearly 100 by 5.2. 100 by 5.2. So I O 1 is 100 by 5.2. I'll keep it like this. Yeah, yeah. We can it is uh, in that direction only. In right? that direction. Yeah, exactly. So the direction is correct. Is correct. Yes. So plus 100 okay. by 5.2 yeah. amperes. Yeah. Okay. So the next step is yeah. to apply only the let's say 80 volts. Yes. Right. Only so 80 volts. Only 80 volts. So uh, okay, so I will apply only the 80 volts. Yeah. Um, minus 80 volts. Minus 80. Actually. Yeah. So it is 80 volts like this. Volts. And I am going to de energize the 40 volts. 40 volts. Yeah. So that gives me 3 ohms. And I am going to de energize the 100 volts as well. Yeah. So this is 4 ohms. Yeah. And I am interested in this current. I am going to call it IO2. IO2. Okay. Yes. Ah. So now, now you have to go through a couple of steps. Yes. Clearly. Right. So you first need to find out this current. Yes. Right. Right. Uh, some uh, let us say I1 and you need to find out how it is splitting. Yes. Through the 3 ohm and the 4 ohm. Yeah. Maybe we will call it I2 because it is IO2. IO2. Okay. okay. So we will call this I2. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yes. Um, so now this needs to be simplified. So this is simplified as 2 ohms, 80 volts and I need to find out the parallel combination. Yes. So it is 12, by, 12 7. by 7. So this is 12 by 7 ohms. Yes. This is uh, 2 ohms. Yeah. This is 80 volts. 80 volts. Absolutely. So this current I2. Uh, IO2 is vanished now. It is hidden inside that exactly. arm, inside that 12 by so 7. We have lost that. We have right. lost that. Okay. But we can find out I2. Yeah. I2 is basically 80 in this direction plus yeah. 80 by 2 plus 12 by 7. Yes. So it's 14 plus 12, 26 by 7. 26 by 7. Yeah. Ohms. Perfect. So many amperes. Amperes. So it is basically yeah. So some some number. Yeah. Some number. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now I want to find out I O 2. Yeah. So I O 2 um, is, so maybe I will create a partition so that we do not get confused between the two halves. Yeah. Hmm. Right? Yes. So the relationship between I O 2 and I 2 yeah. will be as follows. The current through the 4 ohm will depend on the 3 ohm resistance. Yes. Right? So it will be. 3 by 3 plus 4, some of the resistances yes. times I2. We have seen this before. Yeah. Right. So it is basically 3 by 7th of I2. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So, uh, so I2, uh, sorry, IO2 will be 3 by 7 times, uh, I believe we said that uh, it is. Uh, 18 to 7 by 26 basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is basically uh, 240 by 26. Okay. So that 3 by 7, how did you get that? You are saying I2. So is we equal got this 3 by ah. IO2 is basically 3 by 7 times I2. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that is because you are saying the current I2 will split. Yes. With the voltage being the same across the 3 and 4. 3 and 4 resistor. So, should we do this? Uh, maybe we will just do it. Yeah. We will just do it Once. just to make sure we are yeah. not making a okay. mistake. Yeah. Right. So, we will assume that uh, we, have, we do not know this. Yeah. Right. So, we will explicitly do it. Yes. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Let us do that. So, let us do this so that we do not make any mistake. Exactly. It is always better to uh, double check. Yes. Double check. So, we basically have a 3 ohm resistor and yeah. a 4 ohm resistor. Yes. And we basically have some current flowing I2. Yes. We yeah. want to find out the current through the 4 ohm. The 4 ohm resistor. Yeah. Right. So, what we know is that this voltage or the other way, they are going to be equal. The potential drop across 3 ohms and 4 Has ohms is the, the same. same. And in this case, we know that there is positive current. So, we might as well draw it in that direction. Draw it in yes. that direction. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So, we know that this drop, okay. And so, we know two things. So, if uh, this current where um, say I3 shall we say or what do you want to call it? 
No, we'll just we know that the current is just some the voltage by voltage by some. So yeah. we'll just call this voltage as V two. Let us call this voltage as V two. V two. Yeah. Okay. So that maybe it's easier. We don't yeah. have to choose choose a new current variable. Yeah. So the current through the three ohm resistor is basically V two by three ohms. Three ohms. And the current through the four ohm resistor is V two by four. Four ohms. The sum of these two currents has, has to, to be equal to V two. It has to be I equal to I two. Yeah. Right. Yes. So this tells us that seven uh, V two by twelve is I two. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So V V two is basically going to be twelve by seven times I two. Yeah. And now um, we want V two. We by want four. V two by four. Yeah. So I O two is uh, V two by four. So this is clearly this is three, by seven, three by seven. By three plus four. Three by three plus four. Okay. Times two. Absolutely. Okay. So in fact, now we have covered this before when we studied series and parallel. Yeah. But this is now a good uh, time to reinforce that if you have two resistors in parallel and you have a current I coming in. Yeah. So let us say resistance is R one and R two. Yeah. Right. So. Let us say this current is I R one, this current is I R two. Yeah. Now you can, because the potential drop across them is the same, and sum of I R one and I R two has to be equal to I. I. So you can write I R one as R two by, by R one plus R two times I. Yeah. And I R two as R one by R one plus R two times I. Okay. So the current in R one. Actually, the numerator in the expression will be R2. on R two. R two. Okay. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So um, let's get back to our. Let's get problem. back to our problem. Um, now so I two we had like what eighty by eighty by twenty six by seven. Yes. Amperes. Yes. Right. So we now uh, uh, need to. So let me actually move this a little bit out of the way. So maybe I can move it here. Yeah. Okay. Let me just rearrange so that we get yeah, yeah. we get space for our primary problem, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is to find out I two. Correct. I O two. Yeah. Okay. So I O two is clearly three uh, by seven I two. Yes. Three by seven. So this was eighty uh, by by twenty six by seven. Right. Of course, the sevens get cancelled. Yeah. So this is basically two forty by twenty six. Amperes. Amperes. Okay. Okay. So this is I O two. Great. Right. Now let's go back to the original problem. We have a third voltage source, which is the forty. Yes. Volt. So now uh, we need to do this when we have only the forty volt source. Yeah. So eighty volt is de-energized. So you have two ohms. So Forty volt exists, so I have three ohms and forty volts. So three ohms and forty volts, and the last leg will only have the four ohms. Yeah, right. Because even the hundred volts is de-energized. Correct. Got it. Okay, and I am interested in this current I O three. Let's call it. Yeah. Actually, this is similar to I O two. Exactly. I basically have a total current coming out of forty volts. Yes. It is splitting between two ohms and four ohms. Four ohms. Right. Right. So uh, I can now go through the steps. So basically, I need to find out uh, this current. Yes. Okay. First. Yes. First. So let's call that I three yeah. as per our naming convention. Yeah. So let us say that uh, this uh, to find out I three. I am going to simplify my circuit as follows. Yeah. So I have forty volts. I have three ohms. Across that, I have two ohms and four ohms in parallel. Yeah. So, so this resistance is going to be two in parallel with four. Six so, by uh, uh, eight by six. Eight by six ohms. Eight by six ohms. Okay. And uh, what I have here now is I three. I three. And, and we have lost I O three. We have lost I O three. Yes. So I three is basically going to be forty. Uh, forty with a negative sign. Yeah. Because uh, the 
the voltage, the voltage is drop is in this side yeah, right. across yes. the so current is positive current is going to try to flow like this, this. because we have taken our direction like this is going yeah. to be negative current. Yes. And that's because of that 100 volt thing that we chose that as the direction. We chose that as the direction. Right. Okay. Okay. So I3 is minus 40 over 3 plus 8, 8 by, by 6. 6. Right. So Which this is, is uh, basically 26 uh, by 6. 480 by uh, 26. No, why 480? Uh, I just took the 6 to the uh, numerator. Yeah, 240. Oh, 240. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Did I say 480? Yeah, yeah, uh, 6. Okay. 240. Correct. Perfect. So it's 240 by 26. 26. Okay. Uh, now I need to find out IO3. IO3. But so now we can use your. We can use my idea. Uh, uh, this. Yeah, exactly. These expressions. Exactly. So I basically have basically a current trying to split between a 2 ohm resistor and a 4 ohm resistor. Yeah. And this is basically a current I3. That is trying to yes, flow. Which is I am interested in IO3. IO3. So let me take a guess. You are saying it is since it is going through the 4 ohm, it should be 2 by 2 plus 4 yes, into I3. Correct. So IO3 will be 2 by 2 plus 4 times Ma I3. I3. Right. So this is basically 2 by 6 times minus 240. 240 by 26. Yeah, and we should be very careful to retain this minus sign. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Great. So it is basically 480. Ah, well, uh, well. Okay, okay. We don't need one by that. three. So this is basically 80. Uh, 40 minus again. 80 by 26. 80. Minus 80 by, by 26. 26. Amperes. Amperes. Okay. Great. Great. So we have all three currents. All here. three currents. Right. Last step is yes. to add all of them. Because from superposition, Sin. we know that I O is going to be I, I O 1 is, plus yeah. I O yeah, 2 I plus o. I O 3. Yes. Right? Okay. So, so what I get is uh, I O 1 was 100 by 5.2. Two. So, 100 by 5.2 yeah. plus uh, 240 by 26. Yes. And uh, minus 80 by 26. 26. Okay. okay. So, looks like I need to multiply the denominator by 5 times. By 5. 5. So, exactly. it will take this to 26. Yes. Right. So, so uh, it is like 500 by 26. So 26. 500 by 26. Yes. So, 500 plus 240 is 740. Minus 80 is 660. Yeah, 660. Right. So, Amperes. Okay. Okay. Great. Right. So we have got the uh, answer, and okay, excellent. All right. So this seems like a, you know, a very thorough. So just note, uh, you know, to the viewers that we have not skipped any step. Yes. Right? And it That's is very true. important that you work out every single step like this for as many problems as you can. If in doubt, please work it out. Okay. So, that is the general advice that we could take out of this problem. Absolutely. Okay? And uh, so, there is a variant and once you know the current, it is just a matter of uh, squaring correct. it and multiplying. Oh, yes, yes. Let us do that last step yeah, as well. Let us not uh, miss out on that. So, I will go back to this page. Yes. Because now that we have, uh, we know the current. So, mm. our power yeah. is going to be um, I O squared times 4. four ohms. Yeah. In our case, it is 4 ohms. So, I O 660 by 26, 26 whole squared. Perfect. Right. So, we can square this and square it and you get the answer. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Right.